What's up everybody, Chris Joles here. So today I want to show you how to make a simple sticky header. Um, to keep this video short, I've gone out and I'm just going to go ahead and show the code and show you exactly how quickly and easily and simply you could achieve something like this. So here we have our logo, we have our super simple content and when we scroll down, when we scroll down or the user scrolls down on the phone, the, the header shrinks and the logo goes to the left and so on and so forth and we could do all kinds of crazy things here with CSS to uh, do all kinds of cool things so let's just get down to the code here <clears throat> and uh, I'm just, I want to go ahead and go straight to the code I'll, down, I'll have a download file for this and you can go and play with it but basically what we have is a basic HTML document we have our in our head we have our title we have a link to a Google font to make it nice and pretty we have a reset. This is pretty much the standard reset. Everyone use Eric Meyer's reset. And I'll have a link to that as well in the, in the notes. And basically, if we scroll down within our body, we have our header with our simple logo, okay? And that's this. And our H1 tags. And then also below it, we just have a simple image to create content. You can see I have it 2,000 pixels high. That way we have something to scroll with, all right? So, it's nothing special, it's just an image dropped in there. So below that we have this script calling our, our jQuery library. That's uh, it's pretty much standard. Okay, and this is going to be the function that's that creates the, the transition. So basically what we have here is our header, all right? And in our styles, we have our styles for our fonts. We have it center aligned and all that good stuff. If you make your 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 header height 80 pixels for instance like mine and you do your line height as 80 pixels as well it keeps it nice and centered here as well and then of course text line keeps it aligned in the center that way so I got my background my color my font families right there we call that here and I have a border bottom and you can see that's this and so when I scroll down I have a new set of a new set of CSS for header dot sticky and this is going to be the CSS that's called when we scroll down. You can see I've changed that position to fixed. That's an important one. You've changed your font size. Your lawn height is the same as your your header height. We have a width of 100 pixels. Background colors changed. Our text has changed to alignment of left instead of center. We have a padding. We have a color change of the font. And also I've increased the line spacing so it looks better when it's uh, shrunken down. And so that's this CSS, all right? And so the way this happens is what we do is we call this the simple script. It's saying look at the window and on scroll do this function, okay? And so if this is scrolling from the top 10 pixels, do this. Add class sticky to this class, all right? And if it's not doing that, remove this sticky class. So which means basically if we roll back up to the top, and we're we're past 10 pixels it's going to change it back to just header so we've got our header we've got our header dot sticky so basically when we're scrolling we can even change this to a one if you want to do it instantaneously you change this to a one it will it will change right away I like to add some some padding so as you can see here it takes a couple a couple pixels down to scroll down before that changes right and that's it. That's pretty simple. It's pretty standard. You could add all kinds of different functions in here. You could add all kinds of different CSS, a call in new menus and new, new hide navigations and all that good stuff. And what we'll do is we're just going to go ahead and add to this and add some navigation in future in future lessons and build upon this. Anyways, I hope you like this. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. If you like the video, press like, and I'll talk to you next time. Aloha.